es ist wieder soweit. Unser 21. fliegender Teppich hebt ab. Wir haben etwas sehr Spezielles für euch vorbereitet. Tolle vier Kollegen eingeladen. Es wird sehr spannend und sehr tief. Die tiefen Tiefen der Instrumente sind vom Cello und vom Kontrabass, aber in sehr verschiedenen Varianten. Wir beginnen mit Mark Deutsch aus den USA. Sein spezieller Bass, den hat er Bassanta genannt. Lasst euch überraschen. Als zweites spielt Sanität, ein wunderbarer Musiker, der in Berlin lebt und aus Kambodscha ursprünglich kommt. Nächste Station ist Südafrika. Wir besuchen François Leroux, einen Musiker, dem es vor allen Dingen ums Improvisieren und spontan kreieren geht. Und abgerundet wird das Ganze mit dem fünfseitigen Bass von Jasper Libuda. Ein toller Beitrag, glauben wir. Legt euch Kopfhörer an, macht es euch gemütlich und hebt mit uns ab. Marc, fang an. Viel Spaß. Hello, my name is Mark Deutsch, and this is the Byzantar. The Byzantar is a bass with additional drone and sympathetic strings. And the sympathetic strings are done in the Indian style with the, the Jawari bridge. It's set up um, and inspired by the sitar, sarod, Indian instruments. I play the sitar. And um, while I was studying with Ustad Imra Khan, the, uh, the world-renowned Serbahar player, Serbahar is a, a bass version of the sitar, it's an amazing instrument. Uh, when I was studying with him uh, back in the 90s, I came up with this idea. I was having a dream and I dreamed, uh, I was actually listening to the sarange, uh, which is a bowed indigenous Indian instrument that's amazing. And um, I was dreaming and I was playing my bass as I was listening to this sarange music. And um, I put sympathetic strings on and that started this whole process of having a bass with sympathetic and drone strings. Uh, it's called a Byzantar because calling it a bass with sympathetic and drone strings is cumbersome. And I first thought of, you know, combining the word bass and sitar, but of course that's bizarre. And so that was, that was too bizarre. So, um, Byzantar. The piece I'm gonna play is almost exclusively derived from um, harmonics and harmonics are the um, they're the upper frequencies that live inside of every note they give that note its timbre they're like the DNA of a tone um, one of the first pieces I ever composed for the Byzantar was called Kundalini Rising and this piece is uh, a variation on that, or it's derived from that. It's got, Kundalini Rising was a five note piece, had five notes on the scale. This has two more notes. It's um, it's similar to a just a very simple diatonic major scale, except uh, three of the notes are considerably lower than um, tempered uh, piano, pianistic notes. Um, the Indian rag that this is aligned with is called Balahul. And um, let me demonstrate for a second what the harmonics sound like on this instrument. And on this instrument, you can really hear the harmonics because the strings are so long, they come out really well. And um, this is... And see, I'm just touching them. I'm not pushing the string down. If I push the string down, it's like... But I'm just... harmonics everywhere everywhere um, now this piece I'm only playing the ones that are the ones that I want to use for this piece um, oh yeah the um, by the way this is a bridge that I carved with the drone strings here the drone um, the reason this instrument was able to get a patent is not just because I put drone and sympathetic strings on. Lots of instruments have drone and sympathetic strings. It's not a patentable idea. Uh, the reason this is pat was patentable is because of this housing that I 
used uh, in the design. And this housing, this carbon graphite housing, has 29 strings in it that hold all of the tension of those sympathetic strings. And those sympathetic strings are really tight and there's a lot of really low ones. So if they um, were just strung onto the instrument, the instrument would implode. It couldn't deal with the tension. So what I figured out is let's make something that will hold all the tension and then I'll load that into the instrument. So that's, that's how that works. Um, if I can turn the instrument enough, I think you can see, I hope so. Um, there's this two, two of the layers of sympathetic strings I think are visible. The third one is too low, but you can see this bridge. It's like a tripod bridge with um, what are called Jawari bridges, those bone, those bone bridges. So that's the sympathetics and that's how they work. And then the drone strings are here. And then I also, it was a five string bass when I first got it and played jazz and classical music on. I widened the neck here and extended, put an extension on, and now it's a six string main, there's six main strings, four drone strings, 29 sympathetics uh, for 39 strings total, I think. Um, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna slap some mics on this and be back with a piece called Chagall Bird Call. Thanks a lot.
Mein Name ist Sanität, im Königreich Kambodscha geboren und aufgewachsen, wurde in den 70er Jahren von Brinsiano zum Studium der europäischen Musik in die Klassikstadt Weimar delegiert. Neben meinem Studium habe ich die legendäre Band Bayern mitgegründet. Die musikalischen Elemente der Band bestehen aus klassischer Musik, südostasiatischer Musik und lateinamerikanischer Musik. Mein jüngstes Projekt habe ich mit meinem Sohn Anthony Tate eine Band gegründet. Wir nennen uns Tate AT. Hier ein kleiner Ausschnitt von mir, und zwar die Suite Nummer 5.
All right, I've set it all up here. Um, my music is spontaneous music, and it's really hard to say something about it because when it comes spontaneous, it's uh, you know, it's uh, ha, you know, ha. So here it is. Uh, obviously, I have a classical background, um, but my improvisation. Excuse the horses; they close by some sound effects. Um, I've been improvising before I started taking lessons. So for me this is the primary means of expression. I was asked to uh, <coughs> add an African flavor so I'll, I'll, I'll see if it happens but yeah uh, I have the intention to add something or put it in an African vein seeing that we are in Africa. What exactly that means, I don't know. The cello. Thank you very much.
My name is Jasper Libuda. I am a German composer, double bass player and multi-instrumentalist from Berlin. I am honored to be part of this deep string special together with the other wonderful musicians and I want to thank them for their beautiful music. I want to thank Beate and Gerd for inviting me to do this. And before I play my music for you, I want to tell you a little story how all of this, what I do now on my five string double bass, actually started.
During my studies, I was part of a medieval vocal ensemble for Gregorian chant. We had the opportunity to work and practice for several weeks in a monastery in southern France called Abbaye du Toronnet. The church there has a reverb of 10 seconds. It was a very immersive experience to practice there together with my friends and colleagues. And whenever I had the chance, I went into this church alone and made music just by myself, yet listening and experiencing the sound of a whole ensemble. 10 seconds of reverb is like a recording device. This was one of the most influential experiences of my life. Later I transported this experience into what I do now on my five-string double bass with electronics and loop station.
Thank you very much for listening. If you want to find out more about me and my music, please visit my homepage or find me on social media. I wish you all the best. Stay happy and healthy. Take care. Bye.